Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So what a lot of traders are looking at this morning is the moves in the Japanese uh, Nikkei, which has uh, certainly come off quite aggressively. It's, it's now hitting almost new new lows for the year. Uh, dollar yen is beginning to, uh, to sell off as well as people are buying the yen in times of uncertainty. And uh, people are thinking that the, the Japanese market is getting impacted by the stronger yen, um, which incidentally is maybe the same problem that's impacting the DAX today, is the fact that the euro is actually just getting that little bit too strong. In sterling euro, for example, it was a 0 0.8, uh, and that's um, up from 0 0.7 only about six months ago. So a decent move there. Uh, and some people now are thinking that that stronger euro is beginning to hurt um, the eurozone economies. There are some uh, analysts out there who are actually comparing the lost decades in Japan with zero growth as to something that could happen in the eurozone if they don't manage the, um, the FX rates in a more effective way. So um, there's not actually a huge amount of other things happening apart from it's all about FX at the moment. It's what the Japanese yen's doing next and it's about the strength in the euro. Uh, and for, at this moment, we're gonna go ahead and have a look at things from a technical perspective where most global equity markets are just slightly grinding that a little bit lower this morning. So let's go ahead and have a look at things from a technical perspective. So as you can see there, this is the US 30. And um, we had a negative day yesterday, almost a slight bearish engulfing pattern. I moved to the downside this morning, quite far away from the moving averages. We have got a ridiculously overextended upwards move right here. And it's not surprising that we're getting a little bit of a sell off, um, though it feels kind of transitory in nature. Um, I'm not, I can't really think that there's gonna be a, a dramatic sell off right here, but CMC clients are 74% short. And the other technicals are just beginning to turn down now. So these other technicals are just getting negative now. So you would have the tip here as being the next potential support, and then you'd be looking at the tips of these candles here as the next potential support. Moving on to the UK 100 briefly, uh, we're still in the middle of this range. 60.70 potential support, 22.20, uh, sorry, 62.20 being potential resistance from the wrong side of uh, that moving average. And that is a bit of an ugly looking candle to have, to have had yesterday. 57% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. So let's have a look at that Japan 225. Uh, and it's not actually the lowest for the for the year, my apologies, but you can see that it is gonna fall off a cliff there ever so slightly. You are looking at uh, the next potential support being closer to 14,671. 94% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long, anticipating a move back to the upside. If there is a jump to the upside, you could be looking at 16,384 as potential resistance. Um, but as you can see, it's, uh, it's quite aggressive in its move. Moving on to dollar yen, dollar yen is just beginning to move that little bit lower at the moment. Actually, it's at the low of the day uh, with what, 110, spot 08 being the next potential support. Then after that, you're looking at 105, and that would be fairly, uh, that'd be quite a punchy move for, uh, for, for, for dollar yen should that actually end up happening. 78% um, of CMC Marks clients are currently long, anticipating there might be a bounce. But this is a very ugly looking chart, if I'm completely honest. So moving on to West Texas crude, uh, is continuing to come off even in the face of that weakening US dollar. Smashing back below $35. Next potential support would be 31 spot 82, but you could be looking at that 55 period SMA as uh, adding that extra level of support. 51% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. Moving on to gold. Um, gold might be bouncing off this potential neckline of this head and shoulders formation that we've got right here. As discussed, gold is a, is a little bit of a tough one to trade right now. We're in the middle of two moving averages. So you've got the 20, 21 period right here and the 55 period right here. Decent move yesterday. Um, but it's kind of hard to kind of gauge the directional moves when you are looking at a less likely uh, chance of a rate hike in the US, you would have expected to have more upwards momentum on gold, uh, but this has not happened. But nevertheless, 87% of CMC market clients are currently long, uh, obviously anticipating a move to the upside, but this does look a lot like a potential head and shoulders formation. So any break of this potential trend line right here could open up 11.91 and then 11.31 should that materialize. <clears throat> Moving on to Euro dollar, um, we've just got in, in a holding pattern right now. Uh, your dollar trying to decide its next potential move. Uh, obviously, Mario Draghi is uh, thinking right now what he can do to take some of that strength out of the euro. Um, but he's limited in his options. He doesn't want to have the euro too strong because that will stif stifle uh, growth in the eurozone. Um, but nevertheless, the markets are waiting to see what happens. So not much to report. 84% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. Uh, one spot 1489 remains to be the potential resistance level. <clears throat> Moving on to GBP USD, um, it's really not doing a huge amount. The sterling has uh, been in a free fall for some time. Uh, 
I'd probably say it looks like it's going to continue to oscillate around this one spot 42.28 at the moment until the macro data picture for uh, sterling changes. Obviously, there's massive layoffs in the steel industry. The UK economy is like kind of chugging along, but it's not really uh, you know setting the world on fire. 60% of CMC Marks clients are currently short, anticipating further downs, downwards momentum. So let's have a look at things from the market calendar front. What is still to come? Well, you can see with the housing index in the UK, PMI in the Eurozone, trade balance and PMI for the US. Then it's crude oil Wednesdays, so make sure you don't forget about the petroleum um, inventory stocks. You've got industrial output as well. And then Thursday, unemployment claims. And then Friday, you've got current account and industrial production. There's not a huge amount of uh, amazing macroeconomic data. So it does look like the market is going to be he heavily driven by the technical factors right now. And people are looking at dollar yen and euro dollar. Well, that's it for me. Very good luck with the trading, guys, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much, and goodbye.